everyone. Welcome back to You Can Be Huge. This is Connie. As some of you might already know that I'm running a journey to love yourself challenge in the coming few weeks. And every week I will post one to two episodes to take you on this journey and to help you to love yourself more. So if you haven't watched the day one video, I will put the link in the description below. Please go and watch it. And today is the day two. Today's journey, I'm going to take you to realize your uniqueness so that you don't have to keep comparing yourself with others. So now let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to day two. And if you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe right now so you can join this whole journey to learn how to love yourself unconditionally and to realize how powerful and beautiful you are. So today I'm going to talk about to realize your uniqueness. The reason why so many people, they keep comparing themselves with others is mainly because they never really sit down and see and realize how unique they are. Because when we compare ourselves with others, it's always coming from the place of lack, coming from the place of we don't really see what's unique about us. So it's very important to realize your uniqueness because each of you is so unique in the way that no one can replace you. There's so many qualities inside of you me as a healer and coach, I've worked with so many clients from all walks of life, from different industries and from different countries around the world. And based on my experience of working with all those people, so many of them, regardless of how successful they are, they will still keep comparing themselves with others. So this is the point. We have focused so much on our witnesses we forget that there's so many things about us we should really appreciate ourselves as a whole package you cannot just focus on your witnesses and then assume that you're not good enough so today i want to help you to increase this awareness and also what are your strengths once you realize your strengths you will feel so much different about yourself. And why so many people, they keep comparing themselves with others. And that has a lot to do with our education system and the way we were raised. And it's always in the comparison mode, like the parents compare their children with others. And in the school, that like you compare your score with your classmates. And when we grow up, we compare our achievements with our colleagues. And those comparisons never ever ends. And that because we are so get used to that. And we never really sit down and ask what is the point of comparing that. So my first question for you is, what is the point of comparing yourself? What are you trying to get from that comparison? Let's say you're comparing your appearance with others. So what is the point to compare yourself with that person while you both are not the same person? And my second question is, who told you that that person looks better than you? Where did you get this standard from? Where do you get this measurement from? Who told you that? Where is this belief coming from? So have you ever asked yourself all these questions? Well, I want you to realize that all the flowers are beautiful in their own way. They don't have to look exactly the same with each other, but they still look so beautiful in their own way, in their own appearance. Let's say rose. Some people might prefer rose and some people might prefer lily. But that doesn't mean that rose is more beautiful than lily. And it doesn't mean that lily is not beautiful than rose. So there's no comparison at all to whatever that you try to compare yourself with others, regardless of your appearance, regardless of your success especially in the business world that we always compare our achievements to others to measure if we are successful or not but again success is very very personal have you ever asked yourself what success means to you you will be very surprised of all the clients that work with not all of them 
want to become a millionaire. Not all of them want to have a lot of money, and some might want more time to spend with their family, and some may want freedom so they can be free and do anything that they want to do. They want to live their life in their own terms, and some might just want to raise their family in a healthy and comfortable way. So. What does success mean to you? Very often, we calculate success or we measure success as the amount of money that we have. But what is that meaning behind money? Why is that important to you? You want to have more money? Is it because that you can travel or you can work anywhere you want? Or you can just provide a better life to your family. So, what is that reason behind that? We need to know where is all this comparison coming from. We need to eliminate all these norms and all these limiting beliefs about the way that everyone thinks that should be that way. It is not true. It is what do you feel and what do you truly want. It's all about you. If you caught yourself get into that comparison, you really need to step back and ask yourself, why is that? Why you feel that way? Why you feel that you're not good enough? When you got triggered by other people's success, or by other people's achievements, or by other people's appearance, or by other people's lifestyle. Where is this trigger coming from? The trigger is coming from that you are feeling that you're not good enough. And one thing is, you also forgot how special, how unique you are. We all have achieved something in our lives, regardless of small or big. With all those years that you've lived until today, have you truly looked back and asked yourself and appreciate all your strengths? That how far you've come, how much that you have overcome in all those years. There's so many milestones. There's so many small little achievements that you've achieved, and you never really sit down to appreciate and to be proud and to feel proud of yourself. You may experience broken heart. You may felt in your business before. Then maybe something happened in the past, and how did you overcome that to get yourself to where you are today? So today's exercise is: I want you to list down all your achievements from the past, as many as you can remember, even just from graduated from the school. That is already one of the achievements. It might seem normal that to graduate from school. And that is also why we always take this for granted and forget how much effort that we put during the school life, and that how much time challenges that we've overcome for us to get that certificate. So the first exercise is list down your achievements. It doesn't matter how small or how tiny it is, as many as you can remember, and whatever they come to your mind. Again, do generally write down what are my achievements in the past years. You'll be so surprised. Your mind will keep reminding you what are your achievements. And again, I put the worksheet in the description below, and you can download it to help you with this exercise. And second is we cannot be good at everything. Every single person on the planet, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. So now, the second exercise for today is: What are your strengths? What are you good at? And what are the skills that you have? What are your natural born talents? Maybe you're good at communication. Maybe you're good at listening. Maybe you're good at in creating. You can also ask your families, your friends, and your colleagues to help you with that. So in the worksheets that I mentioned, that you will have to look deep inside yourself and find your own strengths first, and then ask help from your family, from your friends or your colleagues. What are the strengths that they see in you? You may be surprised. There's some strengths that 
you don't even know that you have it. When others see how good you are at something, they will automatically think that you already knew it. But this is not always the case because sometimes you don't really realize it. So it's good to have someone to help you with this. And from that perspective, you might discover something really unique about you. So write down your strengths, write down your skills, write down what are you good at and what are your talents. Once you created this list, I want you to read that list over and over and over and over again until you truly feel grateful, until you truly feel that I am so special. If you think that, oh, all these skills other people already have, that is not true. It doesn't matter other people have it or not because they are not you. Take music, for example. There's so many musicians and yes, everyone can play piano, everyone can play guitar, right? They can play any instruments, but the way how they play it, the energy that they spread out, the way how they present, no one can copy them. So don't ever think your skills, your talents, your gifts are so common. It is not. It is not when it's in you. It is not when you do it. It is not when you present it in your own way. It is not when you own it. So every skill that you have, they are all unique to you. Everything that you're good at is unique for you because it's you and there's no second you in this world that's only only you so you are the only one who can do your job well in these few days before the next episode please sit down do your exercise really dig deeper and allow yourself to really see how special and how unique just the way you are just for being yourself is already unique enough focus on develop yourself focus on expand your mindset focus on love yourself more there's so much so much inside of you that you haven't discovered about yourself so that's why i created this a journey to love yourself challenge to bring you on this journey so make sure remember to subscribe and once you've done your exercise i want you to come back in the comments and share three of your strengths and three of your accomplishments in the past that you are so proud of yourself so share your comments below because your comments can also inspire others so remember to download your exercise worksheet in the description in the next episode i will talk about to know your value thank you so much for watching everyone wherever you are i'm sending you all love and light and always remember that you are so important you are loved you are more than good enough and you are so special you are so unique i'll see you in my next episode bye bye